What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm excited to announce our new working partnership with Eugen Factory. Eugen Factory are based in Spain and they specialize in developing and designing aerodynamic body panels and components for the motorsport industry using strong, flexible and durable plastics that are recyclable. Now before you ask, plastics, recyclable, motorsport, how does all of that work? Well, we'll go into a bit more detail about that a little bit later on, but for now let's unbox what they sent us and I'll show you how cool these products are. So Eugen Factory have sent us a canard package uh, for the Proto Academy S14 and I'm super excited about this because the Proto Academy S14 has looked a bit the same for the last couple of years but ultimately I think it's been looking a little lame and a bit the same for the last couple of years and I think it's time to spice it up and that is where Eugen Factory have come in. Now they've sent us a full canard package for the car front and sides and I'm super excited to see how they look on the car. First of all we've got this front canard which I think looks fantastic. It's got lovely uh, angled shape here which I think is super edgy and aggressive. This right here is the large canard. This is what we'll be running on the side skirt. Super nice design. A pretty unique. I don't think I've ever seen this on an S chassis or any particular car like that um, ever. Um, so I think this would be really really cool to see on the car and again super excited to see how this looks. And the last piece is this guy right here. This is the medium canard. We'll be running this on the rear of the car and again I think this looks fantastic as well. Uh, plenty of material on the bottom to mount it to your side skirt and again plenty of material on the top to shape it into the shape that you need to make it fit your car. At the end of the day these are universal parts. These are not meant to fit any particular side skirt or any particular car for that matter. They can fit BMWs, they can fit Nissans, S14s, 180s, S13s, S15s, Skylines, whatever you can think of they will fit. One of the cool things about this is how flexible they are as well so they will take a bit of a beating. Uh, so that's probably one of the biggest things about adding aerodynamic parts to your car is always that worry that they're going to fall off and break into pieces. These are made out of plastic, these are not fiberglass. So when they do get hit, they will take a bend, they will probably bounce off and they keep together as one piece. Unlike fiberglass parts that when they do get hit, they crack, they smack, uh, they snap in half and stuff like that. And that's it, they're kind of scrapped after that. We'll talk about the fiberglass and plastic situation a little bit later on, but that's something to keep note of. Likewise, because these are plastic, you can use a bit of a heat gun and you can get them into the shape that you want. So for example, if you're looking for a certain shape because maybe your side skirt is a bit weird, you could bend it like this using the heat and it would reform to that shape. Likewise, you could bend it like this and it would stay like that as well. So, uh, lots of adjustment, lots of flexibility with these parts. Like I said, these are universal, so there's plenty of material there in case you need to trim it or anything like that to fit to your car. And as well as that, they also supply all of the hardware needed to bolt it to your car. So for example, this uh, front canard right here, which is called the small canard, uh, is included all of the hardware needed to bolt it which I think is super unique. All super high quality stainless hardware included with your Allen hip bolts, your, your lock nuts, and even some washers in there as well. So uh, really, really cool, especially since that not many companies do that. And I think it's super important that, well, if you're gonna put some pretty cool parts in your car, you have some pretty cool hardware holding it on too, because no one wants to see your wood screws or your rusty bolts or anything like that holding on this awesome aerodynamics parts. Also included are some instructions as well in case you need help with trimming. Like I said already, these are plastic, so there is some other uh, trimming options out there unlike fiberglass which are kind of just stuck to using like an angle grinder or, or a hacksaw or something like that to cut the fiberglass into shape because these are plastic you can use heat guns you can use sandy blades knives angle grinders whatever you want to use to be able to cut them so again super unique really really cool and I think um, yeah, plenty of information there from the Yugen factory to be able to put into your car. Now one thing I want to talk about is the difference between fiberglass and plastic. This is a cookie headlight blank that the guys at Yugen factory have sent us. We will be using this on the new S14 um, but the guys were very kind to send it to us early so that we can show you guys the difference between what a plastic headlight blank looks like versus a fiberglass headlight blank. Ultimately they achieved exactly the same thing. They both fill a hole in the front of the car. They both are cheaper, lighter and I suppose easier to get than OEM headlights. As we all know S14 and Nissan stuff in general are super hard, hard to find now. It's hard to find them in good condition. They're nearly 30 years old nowadays. Finding high good condition parts is quite difficult and if you do find them you'll be paying top dollar for them. Now this is what we traditionally would have gotten from uh, headlight blanks before. Uh, just as you can see 
normal headlight blank, nothing special about it, and it ticks all of the boxes that it's meant to achieve. However, the disadvantages with using fiberglass parts, as we all probably know, is that their braking threshold is quite low, which means that if you do hit something, they're going to break, they're going to crack, it doesn't take much to hurt them. And I think parts like this are going to take over. Now, what are the biggest differences? Well, ultimately, from the outside, they look exactly the same. And you'll be right, they achieve the exactly the same goals. However, the biggest difference is when it comes to start to flex it. Uh, like I mentioned already, breaking these are super easy. All you need to do is hit something and they are pretty much dead. And we can see this even from this fiberglass uh, headlight blank, there is actually pretty decent flex out of this. Uh, but I wouldn't want to go any more than that because I feel like that at this point, we're nearly ready to snap in half, um, which is obviously not ideal. Now, with the plastic headlight blank that we see here, I'm, actually all of Yugen's factory parts are made out of plastic, by the way, so they all have these characteristics, which I think is super important to mention. But this is the plastic headlight blank, and I'm going to grab it like this, as you can see, and I can twist this like that, and look at that. Look at the amount of flex that you have. Um, now, we have gotten some stress marks here at the bottom. We've flexed this quite aggressively, but a bit of a heat gun, and that has gone back to flat again. So your flexibility options with these are incredible. If your car is bent, because all 90s Nissans are nowadays, we've all crashed them about 50 times each, uh, this will fit because you can use a heat gun to bend it into slightly shape. You can you know, twist it, you can bend it. We've got a really nice, I suppose, um, got a really nice lip here to slot it in behind your front wing or fender or wherever you're from. So again, this is, I think, the future. All parts should be made out of this type of stuff. It, it, it checks all of the boxes that you need, which is a, a great looking part. It fills a hole, it's lighter, it's cheaper, and it's more accessible. But it also means that you don't need to buy as much stuff going forward. And I think that is a big, big plus in my eyes. So you can factory source all of their materials locally to ensure the highest quality is guaranteed. All of their plastics are recyclable and their packaging is 100% biodegradable. So unfortunately, whether we like it or not, the world is changing. Our love for the sport, of motorsport that is, is also changing. And whether we've control over it or not, we're gonna have to make some changes moving forward. Now, I've never thought I'd be talking about climate change on this YouTube channel, and I don't plan to, but one thing I will say is that Yugen Factory have decided to take it upon themselves to make recyclable parts for your car. And I think that is super, super cool, finding new technologies, finding new methods, and new ways of making the stuff that not only makes the car look better, but also those parts as well that we need to be able to keep our cars on the track. So I'm extremely excited to be working with Yugen Factory. I'm super stoked with the stuff they're coming out with and the stuff that they've teased to me and the plans that they have. And I think this is going to be an awesome year for Yugen and I'm excited to be working with them and I'm super excited to be welcoming to our drift program. So this is the front bumper with the small canards mounted to it. Uh, as you can see, they came out great. Uh, they're just a little bit dusty because fiberglass and stuff. But um, yeah, we had to trim it here nicely. Super easy, we trimmed it at the back here as well for wheel clearance um, and to follow the line of the bumper. Now this bumper, you might be able to tell only up close, but it's actually like repaired in many places. In fact, the bumper was actually two separate bumpers. So this is two different pieces molded together. So the shape of the bumper is actually not perfect. Fine from about 35 million meters back. The canards look pretty good on there, which should look pretty sweet. So these are the side skirts. We've got the big canard on the front, as you can see. And then we've got the medium canard at the back. Here in the middle, you can see we got a side step splitter. I uh, purchased that from a different company, but I do believe Yugen Factory are developing their own splitter kit for uh, cars as well, so make sure to keep an eye on Yugen Factory for that as well. Um, but yeah, got to do a bit of trimming up here, and we've actually got to mount this side properly. Um, so yeah, a bit of a work in progress there. I have to have the car in my position to be able to mount that properly and to trim this correctly up against the front fender or the front wing. So yeah, a bit of work in progress there. So yeah guys, that's where we're gonna end it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Can't thank Yugen Factory uh, enough for the support and to believing in our program. And I'm looking forward to working with Yugen Factory moving forward. Their parts are top notch quality. They look fantastic. And I can't wait to get the car fully decked out on all of their products in the future. So. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure to follow Yugen Factory, check out their website and see if they have something there for you because I'm pretty certain they will. Peace, guys.